boys, welcome to episode 18. I should probably start moving because there's a bounty hunter running right to me. So, like I said before on the last episode, that guy was running in place. There are a ton of bounties near me. Or a ton of mercenaries, sorry. There's even another one right up here, but he, he, but he doesn't want to kill me just yet. God damn it, come on, man. But, yeah, like I said, on the last episode, I, um, I, I did the other things. So, yeah. Here we are. Back at the bald beast. Hippocrates, how's your patient? You were gone so long, he didn't survive. I'm sorry, Hippocrates. We took more time because this missiles helped me save my own patient. Sometimes science requires tough decisions. That's true. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. Hey. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But to more serious matters, I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? Again. I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient. That I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now. Nice, so there goes that quest. Oh, he just leveled up to level 21. Nice, we'll take this off for the dagger. 149 DPS. That's a lot. Nice. We're only level 22, we'll equip that. Get a new ability. Fire build up. I don't really need build up. Why not get gear map? Increase armor by 90% reduced. It's useful. It's actually very useful. Alright, let's before we hear that the music, let's go to the sanctuary of this gear. Do that. Second one is. I need to talk to him. Hi. Let's go. <laughs> the sanctuary was Kipios, god of medicine. 
I'd rather trust a physician Fear than a god to heal me. Disgusting creatures! I don't know, I tried to talk to him first time, it wouldn't let me. If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes. They're everywhere. Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. The snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. Get these snakes. That's the first part of the second and part of the Hecrafties thing. Is the bathhouse free of snakes? I carved up every single one of those slimy malikes. My babies! What have you done to my babies? Your snakes infested my bathhouse! A sick man is dead because of them! You! You did this! Good snakes are dead snakes. You'll pay for this! <laughs> I curse you. Well? Well what? I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky snakes. At least I got a name. Miva. There he is. Let's go back to that main quest. That's kind of fucked up. I kind of did that thing for him, and he doesn't tell me shit. That's that's fucked up. We just did the first sub part of the second part of the Hippocrates thing. Ah, oh, that's right, I better push you too. Greetings, young one. Come to offer Asclepios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, 
I am not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the Eagle Bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. This way. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod Revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. The fuck? I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these... treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands, and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, Eagle Bearer. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. The ways of the gods. Come on. She learned uh, very quick. It was very strong willed. And uh, before too long, it was the priest who oh, listened to now. her. She was loved. But there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So when her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got. Uh, got what? I've already said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads... ...of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm looking for my mother, a Spartan woman who came through here. This kind priest brought me to this stone. It could be hers. I, um, have to... There's something... I must be going. We treat the sick, Eagle Bearer. And we respect the privacy of those we've treated. Now please leave. 
Your presence can only cause harm. I'm not gonna leave. I wanna know. stone that first stone sword was kind of disgusting Orms freaking ate her like they ate her neck so they took off the head and then they reattached the fucking head on the body like that was nasty three of it a case i'm not sure if it's loved more for he knew the penalty for speaking with the eagle bearer about her. Chrysis was clear. You didn't have to kill him. But we did. And now we'll kill you. Uh -huh. Alright, let's see it then. And so you die! <laughs> 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 Nice. So now, I guess that was it. So now we go to the last. Oh, we just something. Oh, it's just. It's probably the apple that he gave us. No, oh, it was a Spartan baby blanket. Let's go, yeah, do this. Let's do the last thing now. They thought they were gonna kill me. Hello. They got an ass with them, is what they got. He's over there. Is this place, um... Restricted? There are a lot of people here. If not, nice. Please! May Asclepio spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently. And very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Oh shit. I want to do both, but I really want the information. I'm looking for information about a Spartan woman who came through here. I was warned about an eagle bearer. A ruthless killer she was called. Do you think it's wise to deny a ruthless killer the information she desires? <sighs> Healing the sick is my path. Help me get the attention of the gods, and I can tell you what I can. What are you asking, exactly? 
Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need the beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'll find this bull for you. Let's get it. How far is this bull? Oh, this bull is somewhat far away, man. We gotta go get an albino bull. So apparently he's in these ruins. The white bull. Am I too late? Oh shit, it might be dead. Just for the bowl, which I might do. Oh, wait, we can free this cabinet too. Yeah, we seem like you're free to go. Doesn't look like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. <laughs> It'll have to do. <sighs> Not the best feeling. I hope this heart is enough. If they want the whole bowl, they can come get it themselves. That's true. Let's go for both. Ritual spear and a ritual mace. No. My, I'm not using the mace. Interrogate Midon at the priest's house. Let's get it. 7500. Speak no evil. That's what we're doing right now. And then after we do this, it will most likely be the end of the episode. Oh, I gotta. Oh, maybe. Okay, maybe this might wait till the next episode because I actually have to kill people in here. Oh yeah. It isn't a lot of people. But it might take a while. So yeah, and on that note, hope you all enjoyed this episode. Next time where we will go, we will go in here and talk to Maidan the Elder Priest. So I'll see y'all later. Bye. And see you all soon on the next episode.